What's up, SM fam? We're back with another video, 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 video. So, guys, in this video, tell me, Mary. She's telling a story time. The story time will be about when I lost my V card. This is how you go. I've mean, never done tell the story. Okay, so the story time will be about when I lost my virginity, guys. Um so my boyfriend at the time, which is not my ex, obviously. Um you're going to pay yourself for So, we have been simple. My story I tell. Boy, you watch me in that video. My boyfriend at the time, which is now my ex, um, texted me and said, um, he's inviting me over to his uncle's house. I said no because my my mom is strict, my, and I was at my cousin's house, and I was worried that my be maybe they will be looking for me. Mommy, I know say I watch my YouTube channel and yeah, I guess for just remember that either. Mommy, I know say I watch my YouTube channel and yeah, probably see this. And when when it go on, but I tell the story, yeah, guys. You know why you know how it go? We gotta stay the time, look. Anyways, so I, he invited me to his uncle's house. I said no because yeah, as I'm saying. Eventually, I did say yes because I think he came to. My own, my cousin's house, not like at the gate, but I look a distance away for come convince me for come with him. I'm gonna try to speak proper English for the American fans. Anyways, I eventually went to his uncle's house with him. When we went there, we were just watching TV, talking the regular. After that, we started kissing, feeling up everything. And I said to him, like, what if your uncle come and catch us? He explained to me that his uncle is not around. And that was, that was like there at the moment that I realized that, yo, it's about to go dead. Kevin Hart, guys. Anyways, um, I was a very soft person or shy I should say so I wasn't the girl to like even if my don't want it me got tell you no I know but if you force it me I got just afraid for say yo no it's not gonna happen so which is what I should have done after I found out his uncle wasn't there. Anyways um he brought me into the bedroom and started taking off my clothes. I was like no no yeah take off my clothes for <laughs> I was like, no, we have to take my clothes off. We have to take my clothes off. I don't know how my clothes come off. And at this point, he took off my skirt and was, I think, yeah, he took off my skirt and I had on shirts and panty. Because me, I didn't take my girl. That's how my parents, my parents grew me to wear a skirt under your, to wear shorts under your skirt. Anyways, um, he took off my skirt and I had on his shorts thingy like and he was pulling on it and I said no and he was like if I not, if I not take it off, I got tear it off and I said alright then, okay then I took it off and um, we started having sex and all honestly guys, I can't tell you guys how like what position I was in nothing because I don't remember that I, mean, I remember that small party that was that's very unclear i don't know why it is but i don't remember anywho i remember um being on top of the dude and the dude was to, like this to me he said to me watch ya simone then are you innocent simone i have sex now yeah i have sex 
Lain Oh sedat Oh sedat Terlalu girlfriend Stop dia Oh sedat Terlalu girlfriend Where think you mean When you're to that Like kan Eh You never want to know But look at you now Stop Stop No Oh sedat Terlalu girlfriend Anyways no Um I think my reaction was laughing When you said that I mean I remember I think I don't want to lie. Anyways, I was making a lot of noise because y'all know this was my first time, and he was like, "Can you just tone down, please? Can you tone down because there are a lot of neighbors that always that are always outside in the lane, and they might hear you." And he was trying to get me to tone down, but I was very loud because it was painful, as you guys know, females I'm referring to, and. And it was my first time, so you know it was a painful because I'm not used to this thing. Anyways, after that, no, I say after that, as if the sex was the sex was still going on. My mother was calling my phone, and I saw that she was calling my phone. I said, I said, um, let me answer her, but he was saying, no, don't answer her. Answer her after we finished. I knew what I was doing was foolish because I know the type of mother that I have. If my mother ring my phone more than two times and don't get to me, is a lick me I get it. No matter what me did I do. That is just so my mother see. Is a lick I go get if she ring your phone. <laughs> you <move that. laughs> if she ring your phone two times when I get there, she done busy way that I couldn't sleep. She got to tell us you're supposed to hear your phone. And worse, as she call it and your friend. <laughs> Wait no, you talk when I'm talking to them. I joke. Anyways though, so um it's uh the second time when she was not the second time, the millionth time because enough time she didn't ring my phone. When we were finished now, answer my phone and she was like, Yo, wh- wh- where are they? Where are they? Where are you at? Where are you at? And me no know I didn't know what to tell her in a guy you know, what to tell her and this dude Bill a lion and told me to tell her and told me to tell her like as if he would say I'm not gonna use right names so say he would say tell her that you you followed me into Michael's lane into Mr. Michael's lane to collect something to collect something and she knows him in a guy she knows him she knows that he's my boyfriend so if I tell her that I followed him into Mr. Michael's lane she wouldn't find an issue with me following him but what made her mad is the fact that um it's way past the time that I should go in that I should be inside my house and for the fact that she was calling me so many times and I wasn't answering anyways now um I told her what she told me as an excuse to give to her thinking something if you said that I listen to me I listen to stories on the face like that. I hate seeing it. <laughs> listen to story. Go on dark. So um she said Oh alright then. Alright then say another regard for me. When me I call you, you never answer your phone. Alright, watch when you come down ya. Boy you follow, boy you follow, boy you follow rare rare and I don't rare rare. Watch me and you Um the line never work out either way. So I better me tell her the truth. I tell them this say, um, mommy, you know, so I'm going to um, Rare uncle I got have sex do I'm so come the girl. I better me tell her that I tell her one life I escape the lick. I'm still I get tricked the same I go get the lick either way. Anyways though, um, I thought this sex would be well my first time would be like candlelit and you know roses on the bed in the room scented nicely and one lot of banjos are play here here and now I promise to love and feel it was she here? here and now I promise the lake <laughs> back again <laughs> but it wasn't none of that shit why? eventually um, I reached to my mom and you know my mother my mom is a very yeah. embarrassing person she will literally wait until Jesus himself is there and all I'm disciples them 
to beat you just because she want people for to say I get it. That's all my mom is. My mother is not the type of mother to say, when you reach in, we deal with you. And carry it inside and she school it inside. She school it in front of everybody and she talk about exactly what you do. So you know you have a shame. Hence the song, here I know. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So now, um, you know, as we reach, my mother grabbed me. She grabbed <laughs> it has reached more than grab me. She gave me some lick. She she why? More than lick she give me my hand cold. And then me here me get dumb. And my 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 mother always have some things to say out her mouth when time she a beat you know. It's like she a, she come like me. She full of chat. So she build up on some something on spot where you never yet hear. Mother mother, I just wanna say, me a call you all along. Pay for the feel like me and you say that who have you. How you have me or me have you? You have my son, you tell like that. Who tell everybody if you hear that statement? You know, my mother make no. It spread and it was a talk of the town. Talk of the town, me and the talk of the town. It spread and it was a talk of the town for like over a month. Oh, mother, so many of you hear that? Wow. Many of you hear that? You don't live nowhere near right the search part that happened? Where is the talk of the town? I mean, in that vicinity. <laughs> Yeah, let me just change it. That was the talk of the vicinity that I got the beat. Car, me live up the road. I mean, I yeah, live up the road. That I much laying around from you. Guys, that was up the road. It's not up the road. From in the lane, she live up the road. It's not this. It's not from a little get. It's not from a little get beat nigga. If I get beat, we get beat now. So no, so still. Is it no, babe? That's not up the road. That's a lot of lanes from you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Next lane, next road. Anyways, you must say up the road is not up the road, people. Anyways, so after I get the link now, um, reaching and my boyfriend did did always tell me, me no know nothing about. I I don't know anything about sex. As in like where you fit to after you have sex. What is the rules of sex? Nothing. I don't know. This is my first time, guys. I'm not really knowledgeable in that area, the per se. My boyfriend always told me that, like, after you have sex, you have to bathe. This is how he portrayed to me. After you have sex, you have to bathe because it will smell on you, and other persons will know immediately that they just had sex. Which I now know is not true. All the time. Not all the time. Under what circumstances people will smell it for you? Really yeah, if you're really. You're from morning, when I be done, go do it. Mm-hmm. And if I'm really sweaty, mm-hmm. like I said, I just come out for the work and the toilet's not perfect, and just go have sex because I smell. Right. But say if I'm not be and then go have sex and not go smell. Yeah. But my my um ex, which was my boyfriend at the time, explained it to me that like uh, every time when you have sex, it go smell, so you have to be after. So um immediately as I reached inside my house guys, me tell my mother said I go bathe in so. My mother knows say me be already you know. She was like So we are we are you know you know you know mother ignorant I I full of her mood so <laughs> PFC says she fix Awe a we are do a beard again in eh? A we are do a beard again Stop now and yeah, come and stop yeah, yeah. so you look lazy in the video. Yeah, try full up, full up mode. Yeah, no? Stop. <laughs> yeah, no? How you do a beard again, eh? You're not beard already. Me, I have not, me, no. So, me, I say, no, mommy, um, I just feel sweaty and, you know? I just feel like I want to go on my bed fresh again. Because I always say, I feel kind of get myself clean before I go on the bed. Because my mother have this rule, you know? Even if you be like five hours, wait, five hours is a lot. Like three hours ago, all right, not long ago, but then you go out, like say for instance, a beard one hour ago, you know, and you go up on the sidewalk and your friend name sit down at talk. Your my mother want you come in and bed again. Head her up on your friend name. That's a fair style. She don't want no dirt in it in her bed. So I just use it as a craft. I say me go bed again. Anyways, my bed and the whole time, mother day, me just feel like some mother know say that me do you know? Mommy, comment below and let me know if you know say that. You go to the wall and cut your hands back. Mommy, 
Mummy, come and make me know if you need to say that. Because the way you look at me suspicious, I just feel like you say. Chow, yeah. Warrior. You know, I said that you're going to do that. I'm cool still. I'm going to cool still. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm sleep with my mother, you know. Imagine you do your virginity just take and you have to go bed and say that your mother is sleep. You don't buy the conscience like if you in a year old room, but you have to sleep like beside your mother. And then the next morning, I'm wake up now, you know, guys. That's basically the story. But the next morning, I'm wake up now, you know, guys. And like, me, I pass people. I just feel like, you know, people now look for you for saying nothing, you know, but just because you're guilty about something, you just have it for saying you are that people, I say. Every other person who pass, I just look for me like random, so not steering, you know, but just look randomly, me I say, like the people, I say. It's a warrior. You know, I'm going to say, a sexy girl have last night, you're going to lose a virgin to dirty girl. <laughs> you say, no. And guys, best, you best believe. My ask, I've asked other female friends that I have if that was the same feeling that they got like the next day or when they saw other people after doing it and they said that was the feeling that they had. No, no. But just feel like everybody was saying, I say, yo, watch her, watch her. She ain't even, she ain't even, she ain't even big yet and she gone fuck. Eh? Disappointment. Yeah, yeah, when you walk with the test, I you know. Give me a tell you, no man. Can't talk to me, no. <laughs> Virginity take. But yeah guys, um that's my story of the time I got my virginity broken. And wish we could have redo it. Yeah. Actually one time anyways, now let's say that. But guys, if you like this video don't forget to like, comment subscribe hit that subscribe button and let us know what you think in the comments about the story also don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about simi and mike and turn on your post notification bell so you know every time we upload a mother freaking video guys i need y'all to go and subscribe to our channel and also Follow our social media platforms, which will be in the link below in this video description and every other video posted. Until the next video, guys. Peace. Peace.